In this video, I'll be showing you how I post-process this landscape photography shot from Iceland using Lightroom Classic. No doubt about it, Iceland is truly a landscape photographer's Disneyland. I was just in paradise there, but just a little heads up, the weather there can get very rough. And this morning was no exception. The Vesterhorn Mountain near Hofen in Iceland is in a word, amazing. The foreground waves smashing on the beach, along with the black sand mounds covered in long grass can make for some awesome compositions. On this blustery morning during sunrise, I had to contend with quite a few things going against me. But in the end, I did end up getting a shot that I was pretty happy with. Now, normally I'd be doing this Lightroom Classic tutorial on my laptop right here. But just recently, I got myself a much more powerful PC. So we're gonna move into another room and I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are back in the other room in front of my PC and this is our shot from beautiful Iceland that we're gonna be working on. Now this shot was taken with my then Nikon D810. I had a 16 to 35 millimeter F4 VR lens. So at the time of making this video, I'm currently using the latest version of Lightroom Classic. This is the one where they've just introduced the new Denoise AI feature. So to start off with, we're gonna go down to Lens Corrections and we're just gonna tick off Remove Chromatic Aberration as well as Enable Profile Corrections. That's just gonna fix up any sort of barrel distortion that I had on the lens I was using. So to begin with, we're just gonna lift up the exposure a little bit as well as I'm just gonna increase that contrast, not too much. Um, the highlights I'm gonna drop right down so we can get right into that cloud cover there. Uh, shadows I'm going to lift up just so I can see my foreground a little bit better. Uh, the whites I'm just going to increase to about 21 and the blacks I'm actually gonna drop those down as well. I just wanna get a little bit of definition in those rocks down in the foreground there. Uh, something about there. Now on this morning, I was pretty blessed in a way because I was the only photographer there. This is normally quite packed with photographers. I think the reason was because <laughs> I was the only one crazy enough to go out in these conditions. But there was a little bit of haze around and I thought I'd actually wasted my time. But when you see the colors that came up that morning, oh man, it was just amazing. What I'm gonna do is to cut through that little bit of haze that was coming through on the shot. I'm just gonna lift up my dehaze here and you'll see we get much more definition in our clouds as well as on the mountain. With the colors, I really love colors in my landscape photography shots. I'm just gonna increase the vibrancy just to about 25 as well as the saturation. I'm gonna lift that up to about say, let's put in 15. Now the great thing about Lightroom is you can concentrate and intensify certain colors. And what I'm gonna do, I really wanna push out the colors of those oranges, purples, and blues in the sky. To do that, we go down to our HCL color tab. Now, if you look up there, we've got some oranges, purples, and blues. So we just increase our blues a little bit just to intensify it. With our oranges, we're just gonna lift that up as well. See how that's just gaining in intensity just a little bit there. Uh, as well as up the very top there, you've got a little bit of purple. I had so many colors on this morning. It was really a surreal experience. It was just so beautiful. Oh man, I love Iceland. So that's looking pretty good, but we can get it much better yet. What I'm gonna do now is utilize that denoise AI feature that Lightroom has. Now to do this, I'm just gonna push in. You can see over here, around that mountain peak, we've got quite a bit of noise. You can see it up on the peak and in the clouds. So to utilize that denoise, we need to come down to where it says detail. So we click on the detail tab and you'll notice here we've got denoise. So all you have to do is just now click on that and it's pretty amazing the job it does. You'll see, look at that. To see the before and after, you just click on that little square box and you can see how much without enhance and then with enhance so let's just go ahead and engage that. Let's enhance it. So since we're working on YouTube, I like to crop my stuff to 16.9. So you guys can see it on full screen on your phones or your PCs or however you're watching this. 
So to do that, we're just gonna come up to the crop tool, make sure that your little lock is unlocked, come over to where it says original, drop down, we're gonna go down to 16.9. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop that framing down a little bit because I wanna see more of the foreground than the sky because there is a little bit more happening in the foreground than there is in the sky. So let's just drop that crop down a little bit. I'm gonna go with something about, eh, something around about there, I think, and just hit enter. Let's just go to full screen and have a look at that. That's looking pretty good. But one thing I can see is these little dust particles all over the sensor. Now that is the one thing about Iceland, the conditions can get very rough. And on this trip, I experienced some of the most horrendous wind I've ever encountered in my life. So when you're changing lenses, it's literally impossible to try and protect your sensor. So you will be getting some little dust particles all over that sensor. But it's so easy to get rid of those. All you have to do is come up to your little healing brush. First of all, just isolate where those particles are. Here's one down near the ocean. So all you have to do is come up to your healing tool, click on that and just click away and it is gone. So let's just go around the outer edge. Here's another one up in the sky, gone. Let's go up to the top. There's another one just over here, a very slight one. This was such a crazy morning this morning. Man, I had so much fun. Here's another one up here. I'm actually quite amazed. Here's another one over here. I'm so amazed I did not get so much more dust and gunk all over that sensor. Um, there's another one just in the corner. Okay, so I've just quickly scanned around the entire photo and got rid of those dust particles very easily just using that healing brush. Let's have a look at it full screen. That's the reason why I wanted to use that exposure time of one second, because I really wanted the dramatic movement of those waves that were coming in and crashing onto that black sandy beach. And, you know, it was freezing cold that morning. My gear was getting smashed. But the thing is, I loved every second of it. So that's our finished shot using Lightroom Classic at a sunrise at Vesterhorn Mountain in Iceland. Thanks very much for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.